Welcome back on the channel. Welcome back to another OptiScaler update video. So the OptiScaler version 0.6.5 uh, preview 8 just released and here is the change log on your screen right now. As you can see the XCSS library has now been updated to 1.3.1 which is a very good upscaler uh, and we will talk about that along with some other changes uh, with the FSR has been revert back to the 2.1.2 uh, which is their original uh, produce upscaler and some direct x12 improved uh, hooking and etc etc so yeah first of all uh, we will tell which game does this optiscaler support so the optiscaler will only support those games which have the dlss uh, inbuilt like the modded dlss won't work so the game need to have inbuilt the stock dlss like by the developer so yeah uh, for today's testing we will be testing it on cyberpunk and uh, uh, horizon forbidden west uh, you can not use the modded dlss frame generation uh, sometimes when you use the optiscaler so yeah do try to use it on those games which have inbuilt frame generation such as uh, horizon west and some spider-man and nixus and other ports like uh, ratchet and clark and everything so i have already run the cyberpunk in the background but i will first show you the method how to install so after extracting this zip uh, we will copy everything from inside then we will gonna go to the installation directory after that bean x64 now where the games ex is located for most of the games uh, we are going to paste it right here now i have already pasted and run it in the background so i'm not going to paste it again uh, so after pasting when you go in game now i have windows 10 slash 11 uh, pro serial key at a very cheap rate only 250 rupees indian so if you are interested let me know in the comment section or come to discord the stock is limited so hurry all right now we are back in the game so in order to use the optiscaler tool you will first need to go to setting graphics then activate the dlss uh, in order to use the xcss overlay which you can activate by just pressing the insert key on your keyboard so if you press the insert key on your keyboard you will see this kind of ui will open up uh, wait a second let me go back to the gameplay game so you can see the dlss is now turned on and if i press insert the key uh, the tool will come up and if you look closely at this uh, grill over there like this area you can see it's a little bit shimmering or a little bit flickering so the current upscaler is set to 2.1.2 you can also change it to fsr 3.1 but it will still shimmer and flick a little bit but as soon as i change it to xcss and click on apply you will see that the shimmering is now gone i will turn on the ms after one or overlay one second you can see the shimmering is now gone the image quality has been improved very much it's still a little bit maybe flickering but not as much as uh, fsr 2.1 or 3.1 uh, you can also use the dlss if you have the rtx card like if you select the dlss and apply uh, you can see it's now even better because you know dlss is uh, superior to everything but yeah if you don't have dlss you can use the xcss which is very good in my opinion you can see still it's like uh, very similar to dlss and much much better than any fsr version like better than fsr 3.1 this is fsr 3.1 you can see how much shimmery or flicker it is you can also change it from 3.1 to 2.3.2 which is a custom version uh, it's 2.3.2 is a little bit better than 3.1 you can see it's maybe a little bit less than 3.1 but yeah it's still flickering so xcss is the way to go for now xcss is very good you can see the clicker is very much gone so we'll jump back to our next game which is uh, horizon forbidden quest
right uh, now let's come back to horizon forbidden west all right uh, we are back in horizon forbidden west and if i go back to the setting again you can see the dlss is set to quality now frame generation is also turned on you can use the frame generation uh, of those games which have inbuilt frame generation but uh, you cannot use the modded frame generation uh, or the optic scalar menu won't open but uh, some people have claimed that they have managed successfully to use the uni scalar and opti scalar together so yeah do try and let me know if you can success it but yeah if you look closely uh, to alloy's head right here you can see it's a uh, little bit ghosty because the upscaler is right now set to 2.1.2 uh, so as soon as i change it to xss and move the head bit bit around you can see the ghosting is almost gone like it's close to zero it's still there like very very little very uh, less shimmery uh, you can see also the other options uh, you can also use the dlss again if you have rtx i will switch to that dlss is like it's the superior quality uh, but yeah xcs is also very good you can also change it to fsr 3.1 and see how blurry and shimmery it is like look around alloy's head you can see how ghosting or how shimmery it is as soon as i change back it to xcss you can just see the difference like how better it is it's still there but yeah it's very better similar to almost similar to dlss if not the uh, what do you say original to dlss so yeah this will be it for this video and if this helps you you can subscribe to the channel comment on below if you are facing any kind of issue and don't forget to join the discord for more upcoming videos and mods and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers